So in this video, we are talking about the Unix file system. But the step one, as always, with the Computer Programming University is to smile because learning should be fun. So this is going to be a short video, really simple, just going over the file system organization. So on, in a Linux environment, if I type in PWD, like we did in another video, the basic commands, I'm going to get present working directory that tells me where I am. Now, if I type in CD to change directory and I type in a forward slash like that, that'll take me to the main directory or the start of the tree or the root is the name of where I am right now. If I do PWD, you'll see I just get the forward slash. So I'm at the beginning of everything. It's kind of difficult. Let me see if tree is actually installed on this machine. It's not installed. So I, I can't show you how it looks. Actually, hang on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a graphic for you. Do you see this? Do you see what you're looking at here? This is something I just looked up online on the internet for you. It is a visual representation of the directory structure in a Linux machine or on a Linux machine. So the root directory, like I told you, that's the beginning of everything. So that's where everything starts from. So that's your main directory. Everything else is a subdirectory of that. So under root, you have in this particular example, volumes, applications, and users. Now, under volumes, volumes actually has its own two directories, subdirectories, USB and Mac. USB has another directory called Unix and Perl course. And under U Unix Perl course, you have applications, code, data, and docs. So if we go through a, a complete path from one to the next. So let's just stay on one path. Let's start from the root directory. We can go to volumes. So we can in the root directory, we can type in CD volumes. In volumes, we can type in CD USB. And there we can type in CD Unix and Perl course, and then CD applications or code or whatever you want to do. Or from the root directory, you could just type in the full explicit path and just type in uh, CD volumes forward slash USB forward slash. And you get the point. So let's move right along. Right now, again, we are in the root directory, but if I type in CD and space with nothing else and hit enter, guess where I am now? I'm in my home directory. Look at that. CD4 slash again takes you to the root directory. That's the beginning of everything, where everything stems from. It's the origin point. It's the Big Bang. Okay, you get the point. So, instead of CD and nothing, I can type in tilde, and that should also take me to my home directory. All right, so... That's uh, some things to note. Also, I want you to take note of something else. In the Unix machine or Unix environment, the idea of file extensions is not really relevant. Now, I have some files that I have called .log, but I just did that for my own convenience. It helps me to visually be able to identify that those are log files, but it means absolutely nothing to the Unix environment. So the concept of, of file extensions is not relevant. I can create a file right now and call it a file. And there is my file called a file with some stuff in it. Amazing! Look at that! I'm a genius. I know. All right, so there you go. I just saved it, and now we do an ls. We see my new file should be here somewhere. There it is, a file called a file. No extension does not matter. If I vim that file, I can go ahead and... So if I vim that file, vim, and it's called a file... I can see some stuff is in there. So again, the extension does not matter. Understood. So that is what I wanted to let you guys know. Uh, I don't think there's really much else to cover here for this, the file system. I just wanted to give you some of the basics. Now, we're going to go into some other details in other videos like file permissions and creating groups and creating users and having a good time, but not in this particular video. I just want to keep this one short and to the point. You are watching the Computer Programming University, and if, you, if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and subscribe. One click and it's free. Thumbs up, share the video, and comment. Comment below and always smile. Learning should be fun.